In the heart of the Andes, an ancient civilization crafted a world of wonders, leaving behind mysteries that puzzle scholars to this day. We must ask ourselves, how did the Incas, without modern tools or technology, achieve such architectural marvels? What secrets lie within their cryptic quipus? Dive with us into the enigmatic world of the Inca Empire, where every stone and knot tells a story of ingenuity and mystery. We begin with a fortress perched on the outskirts of Cusco, the ancient capital of the Inca Empire, Sacsayhuaman, a marvel of engineering, dates back to the early 15th century, a testament to Inca ingenuity. Its massive stone walls, composed of boulders weighing up to 200 tons, fit together with such precision that not even a blade of grass can slide between them. This feat, achieved without the use of mortar or modern machinery, leaves one to wonder. How did the Incas construct such an architectural masterpiece? Theories on the construction techniques of Sacsayhuaman are as varied as they are fascinating. Some suggest the Incas utilized advanced knowledge of levers and ramps, painstakingly moving and lifting the enormous stones from quarries several kilometers away. Others propose the idea of softening the stone, possibly through the use of plant extracts, to mold them into their perfect fits. Yet despite these theories, the exact methods remain shrouded in mystery. The strategic positioning of Sacsayhuaman, overlooking Cusco, also speaks volumes about its significance. It's believed to have served both as a military stronghold and a ceremonial center integral to the Incan cosmology and their relationship with the natural world. The alignment of its constructions with celestial bodies, specifically during the solstices, underscores the Inca's sophisticated understanding of astronomy. The enduring mystery of Sacsayhuaman's construction continues to captivate scholars and visitors alike. Enter Machu Picchu, perched between the Andean peaks of Peru. This architectural marvel remains one of the most mesmerizing enigmas of the Inca civilization. Rediscovered in 1911 by Hiram Bingham, this 15th century architectural wonder has captivated scholars and tourists with its purpose, as mysterious as the clouds that often shroud it. Constructed under Emperor Pachacuti, Machu Picchu's function within the vast Inca Empire has been the subject of varied interpretations. One prevailing theory is that Machu Picchu served as a royal estate for Emperor Pachacuti, offering a luxurious retreat from the capital's demands. The site's strategic location, accessibility only through the Inca Trail and the presence of structures that could have been palatial residences support the notion of an exclusive sanctuary for the elite. Alternatively, Machu Picchu is often considered a sacred religious site. Its construction, in harmony with its natural surroundings and alignment to celestial events, point to a deep reverence for nature and the divine. The Intihuatana Stone, a ritual stone associated with astronomical observations, underscores Machu Picchu's role in Inca cosmology. These structures facilitated solar and lunar observations, aligning religious ceremonies with the heavens, embedding Machu Picchu deeply within the spiritual fabric of the Inca world. The site's potential role as an astronomical observatory further emphasizes the Inca's sophisticated understanding of their environment. The precision with which certain windows and gates align with solstices and equinoxes highlights an advanced knowledge of astronomy crucial for agriculture and religious festivals. Whether as a royal retreat, a sacred space, or an astronomical hub, Machu Picchu stands as a testament to the Inca's architectural genius and their harmonious integration with the natural world, shifting from stone to string in a world where the written word was conspicuously absent. The Incas conveyed volumes of information through the kipu, an intricate system of knotted cords, these devices, far more than mere artifacts, represented a complex method of communication and record-keeping, pivotal to the administration of an empire that stretched across the rugged terrain of the Andes. The kipu consisted of colored cords with knots tied at various intervals and in different forms, each color and knot serving a specific purpose, from accounting resources to recording historical events. 
Crafting a quipu was a meticulous process, requiring a deep understanding of its symbolic language. The colors of the cords could signify different sectors of the Inca economy, such as gold, maize, or potatoes, while the knots themselves encoded numerical values and possibly narratives arranged in a hierarchical system that allowed for detailed data compilation and analysis. This sophistication points to the existence of a highly specialized class of administrators or Kripukamayoks, who were trained to read and interpret these knotted messages. The mystery of the Kripu extends to its full range of applications. While primarily understood as a tool for accounting, recent research suggests that its utility might have been far broader, encompassing the recording of laws, rituals, and perhaps even narratives akin to a written language. This hypothesis is supported by the discovery of Quipus with an unusually complex arrangement of knots and chords hinting at a narrative function beyond mere numerical record-keeping. Yet despite ongoing study, much about the Quipu remains enigmatic, and this gap in understanding underscores the ingenuity of the Inca civilization and the sophistication of their communicative practices. Continuing our journey from cryptic chords to cultivated terraces nestled in the sacred valley of the Incas is an archaeological marvel that showcases the advanced understanding of agriculture and ecology possessed by the Inca civilization. Unlike any typical farming structure, the Moray terraces are a series of concentric circular depressions carved into the earth, creating a stunning visual spectacle that belies their practical function. These terraces are believed to have served as an agricultural laboratory where the Incas could experiment with crops at different altitudes and microclimates. Each level of the terraces simulates distinct environmental conditions, varying in temperature, humidity, and sunlight exposure. This ingenious design enabled the Incas to cultivate a variety of crops, including those not native to the region effectively extending their agricultural reach. The temperature difference between the top and bottom terraces can be as much as 15 degrees Celsius, a testament to the precision with which these microclimates were engineered. The purpose behind such experimentation was twofold. To acclimatize crops to the diverse climates of the Inca Empire and to increase agricultural yields. Evidence of this is found in the variety of soil types that were intentionally transported and used in different terraces each chosen to optimize the growth conditions for specific crops. Moray stands as a testament to the Inca's deep understanding of their environment and their ability to manipulate it to suit their needs. The terraces at Moray not only provided food security for the empire, but also advanced agricultural knowledge that was far ahead of its time. While Moray's terraces highlight the Inca's mastery over agriculture, the legend of Paititi, often referred to as the Lost City of Gold, has captivated explorers and historians for centuries. Said to be hidden deep within the Amazon rainforest, Paititi represents the ultimate symbol of Incan resistance against Spanish conquest. Following the Spanish arrival in the 16th century, stories began to circulate about the Incas hiding their immense wealth including gold, jewels, and sacred artifacts in a secret city to protect it from plunder. The search for Paititi has led numerous expeditions into the uncharted territories of the Amazon, driven by tales of a city rich beyond imagination. Explorers lured by the promise of discovering a treasure-laden city have traversed dense jungles and scaled remote mountains, often basing their quests on fragmented indigenous stories and ancient maps. Despite these efforts, Paititi remains elusive, with documented searches yielding more questions than answers. While some claim to have found evidence of Paititi's existence through isolated ruins and petroglyphs, conclusive proof has yet to surface. The city, as described in legends, is a place of splendor, with gold-adorned temples and palaces, but its true nature might be far more complex. Some theories suggest that Paititi was not a single mythical city, but rather a network of settlements reflecting a sophisticated society that thrived in isolation. Others propose that Paititi's significance is more symbolic, embodying the Incan aspiration to preserve their culture and spiritual beliefs amidst foreign invasion.
The enduring allure of Paititi lies not just in the wealth it is rumored to hold, but in its representation of a civilization's enduring spirit. The search for Paititi continues, a testament to the fascination with the Inca Empire and the mysteries that still shroud one of history's most intriguing civilizations. As we journey through the remnants of the Inca civilization, we're reminded of the profound mysteries and achievements that define this great empire. Their advanced engineering, sophisticated agricultural practices, and the enduring legends of hidden cities offer a glimpse into a world that thrived in harmony with its surroundings. What other secrets do you think lie hidden within the Andes, waiting to be uncovered? Share your thoughts in the comments below and have a lovely day.